G'day guys, Brendan here from On Point. Now today I'm gonna to show you a rig that has been requested many times on why do we use it and how do we make it and why is it so effective in the surf. I'd first like to say that this is probably the most tangle-free rig you can possibly tie for Elvies, okay? Or any surf fishing situation. I predominantly fish Elvies, especially this little gem here, which is the 60 size Elvie, and this is what exactly the rig that I will use for it. So this is why we're gonna move forward in this direction. Now what you're gonna need is some 80 pound leader, okay? Usually for me, it's the Platypus Armour Tough Leader. Set of gangs, in this case it's um, a set of 50776D Mustad hooks, two beads, two swivels, crane, barrels, whatever you like, and a sinker. But the specific thing this sinker will need is either gonna be one of these little bait releases here, or but you can go buy the bait release from Gemini, um, which I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, so let's get to building this rig. Today I'm gonna to build it in fluorescent yellow, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, a pair of pliers as well will be helpful. So what we want to do, we'll start with the sinker, okay? So just any um, any knot will do. And remember to lube your knots, however, I'm not going to be lubing them today because I'm not going to be using this particular rig because it's not the right leader for me. But anyway, so we'll just put it together there. So there you go, as simple as you like. Now, I like to probably use, you know, maybe I guess you'd call that a metre, a metre of line there trim that off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start by threading a bead onto your sinker line. That's right, now remember that, a bead onto your sinker line, the smaller of the two swivels next, followed by another bead, okay, and then tied onto your swivel. Now keep in mind I'm going to explain this to you in a minute as to why we're going to do it this way. I'm also going to show you after we've tied this rig, this rig in action, so you know that what I'm talking about isn't all just hoo-ha. So we'll pull that nice and tight there. So now, oh, now we have a sinker line, so your sinker, then you have your two beads and your swivel down to a larger swivel. Okay, so sinker, beads, swivel, larger swivel. Now we'll tie the hook trace. Now you want your hook trace to be a fair whack shorter, okay? So we go pretty much half half, half the length. I think it's a, a pretty good rule or less. Not that it's too critical. The only thing critical is, of course, that it is shorter. So tie this uni knot again. Okay. There it is there. And then, look at all these little tag ends I've got going around. Messy as. Then straight onto here as well. Onto that swivel. Now I know this rig's starting to look a bit strange now because it's all just one inline rig. But that's okay. And we cut that there. So now what we've got, okay, we're gonna run through this. We've got our gang hooks. Straight through to a big swivel. Okay, one end tied to the hooks, one end tied to the sinker. We'll then follow this leader down, okay, which we come to two beads with a, with a swivel in between the beads down to your sinker. So how does this rig work now that we've tied it? We tie our main line to this running swivel here, okay? Okay, and what this does is this gives us all the free movement we need if those Mulloway or Taylor or whatever it may be are being a bit fussy and want to play with that bait without any resistance, okay? When we cast this rig, okay, and this is why it, it, this is why it is tangle free, okay? We're tied to the top here. Now bear with me. We get the bottom of our gangs here. Because I don't have a rod, this is a lot harder. We hook that onto the little keeper, or onto the Gemini clip, okay? And then all of a sudden, we've got a beautiful inline rig. 
And because there's tension there the whole time, there's absolutely no way that this particular rig can tangle. So now that we're casting a sinker and a bait all as one uniform piece, this is going to cast further than any running sinker switch rig that you've ever used with your LV or any other tackle for that matter than ever before, okay? Now a lot of you are questioning, well how does the bait come off? As soon as that sinker hits it, it releases. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. So now this is sitting on the, the, the sea floor. We'll put this sinker up here because he's in the sand. We then we then retrieve, 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 okay? Which brings us all the way on a free swivel, okay? Now, once, we've once we have retrieved and this is stuck in the sand, this is how our bait is sitting. Let's put him over there for the time being. We don't have much room to work here. Okay, so now we're fishing it like a normal three-way sinker rig. So see how we got the swivel here? We got our bait wafting around nicely here. And then Mr. Mulloway comes along and pulls, 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 all nice and free, hooked up. That's simple. And now what we're doing is we're fighting a fish on one straight line, okay? The other good thing is when we're coming up over the reef with the fish hooked on, because that swivel is butted hard up against that sinker, that sinker now has elevation and it won't get snagged up. Now using this rig the way it is when it's in the surf, because you've got so much you know, slack line sitting around on this rig. This is where it untangles the LV and makes it completely tangle free because there's no pressure on this swivel. Now there's a huge rumor going around that you need to fish two swivels gospel for LVs to eliminate line twists. That's actually not true. What it is is if you've got a lot of pressure on this swivel, it's, it's disinclined to rotate. So by taking all that pressure off the swivel, even just one swivel will take all that twist out your line or a good percentage of it anyway and you'll remain tangle free. But remember guys, this is the ultimate tangle free rig for both spin and LV. Now let me roll some clips quickly of this rig in action and some fish caught on this. Here we go. We're just on another one here. Another fish. I don't know quite what it is yet. Bring it in through the gutter. There he is. Another tailor. This tailor took a whole scaly. Let's get him to show you. And there we have it. Another nice tailor. I can't believe how full of full the gutter is of these things. But look, once again, you've heard me say it before, I'm going to say it again. Let's get it off and I'll catch you on the next one. Got that end rod, that line's gone slack. Yeah, that end one. Have a look at that. That's, oh, a, we got some. that's a fish on. Fish on. There's something on here. Very little. Here he comes on the beach now. He's out. There he is. Right. Little tailor. That's not a bad tailor though. I mean, that's still a nice little surf chopper. Oh, it's, it's a nice one, but compared to the the other ones that we catch up on wedge, um, it's not too big, but uh, we'll get them back in the water and um, get on the next one. <laughs> How good's this? Catching Taylor. <laughs> the young fellas are running around. He reckons it's great. All in a beautiful gutter on some of the most pristine beaches I think you're likely to fight. Just got him in that inside gutter. Now he'll be coming up to the beach. There he is. I'm just going to walk down the surf to get him so we don't drag him up through the sand. And there he is there. He's 
live baited himself. And I mean, you can understand why that could be mistaken on the line for a chopper tailor, because honestly, have a look at how big that herring is. He's an absolute monster. But look, not what we want. We'll put him back where he are for, oh, is that it? <laughs> we'll whack him back. So there you have it guys, the tangle free rig for any any form of surf fishing, be it LV, spin or overhead, guaranteed to eliminate tangles, guaranteed to never come in in a tangle. It is honestly one of the most ultimate long distance casting rigs I believe you can use. So guys, if you enjoy seeing this kind of video with a bit of rig making and a bit of, you know, a bit of video with that rig in action, leave a comment below. Let me know that you're happy with this sort of content. Hit that subscribe button because there should be plenty more of these sort of fishing and adventures coming up. And we're going to see you on the next episode. Happy fishing.